now let's think about Atwood's machine. It's a pulley, it's fixed, and we have a string around the pulley. It's pretty to uh, move without any friction. And at the end of the string, two meshes are attached. Let's call one as M1 and the other is M2. So the problem is to solve, to find the acceleration of the system of two masses. We will apply Newton's second law and before that of course we have to show all the forces on each mass. Let's start with M1. We have the gravity pulling down M1 which is M1g and we have one more force on M1 which is the tension in the string and it will oppose the gravity we denote this as T it's the same with M2 we have M2g and the same tension pulls M2 upward it's the same tension because these two masses are connected by the same string. All the tension forces on the same string are equal to each other. The next thing is we will apply the Newton's second law for each mass. But before that, let's pick up our coordinate system as the upward direction as y and in this picture the gravity is downward so now let's write down the total forces on M1 since we have only the motion in y direction these total forces will be in the y direction and we have T upward and M1g downward, since it's downward, we add to a, a T as minus, and this whole thing, all the forces all together, will be equal to M1 times the acceleration of mass 1. If you write down the same equation for M2, the, all the forces, again we have the same tension T minus this time the force pulling down M2 is M2g and this whole thing will be equal to M2 times A2 now <coughs> uh, we have two equations 1 and 2 and we can solve for T T is equal to M1 G plus A1 and on the other hand if you are using the second equation T is equal to M2 G plus A2 so we have two equations for the same quantity tension in the core Before solving <coughs> these two equations for accelerations, A1 and A2, uh, I want to point out that A1 and A2 are somewhat related to each other, uh, or in short, A1 will be equal to in magnitude to A2 because when one mass is going up, the other will, will go down with the same acceleration. The only difference is if one acceleration is up, the other one will be down, so they will be related to each other as A1 will be equal to minus A2. And let's call both of these accelerations as A. So when A1 is equal to A, A2 is equal to minus A. Now we are ready to solve these. <coughs> two equations for A uh, we had 
m1 g plus a1 m2 g plus a2 so let's write first g plus a1 and m2 g plus a2 and let's replace now these accelerations by g plus a m2 g minus a and if you collect all a terms on one side and the rest in the other other side a times m1 plus m2 and on the left hand side we have g m2 minus m1 so we are only one step away to find acceleration if you solve for a it will be in terms of g m2 minus m1 divided by m2 plus m1 and a1 is exactly this quantity a2 will be minus of this quantity